Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an audio visualizer. Let's say that you are a musician or you're just someone who likes to create visualizer video. You can now create it very, very easily with Canva. I'm going to start by creating our design. So go ahead and click create a design and then you're going to want to choose video as your design type or as your design size. All right, now that we got our designs right here, we're going to go to the element section. And then first things first, you're going to want to type in Synthwave. And then you're going to want to go to the video section. Now, if you're not using Canva Pro, you can go to this filter sections right here, and then you can click on this free option but I am using the Canva Pro account for today, but I'm just going to show it to you. If you're not using the Pro account, you still have the options to create this kind of video by choosing the free option in the filter section. All right, once we do that, we're going to want to choose on the video that you like, and I am going to use probably this one for now. And then I'm just going to adjust my video so that it's going to fit all the way to my frame. So this is going to be the base of my visualizer. And you can see that it only has around 5.9 seconds. But don't worry, I can always make this go on a loop by simply duplicating this page until I got the duration that I want. All right, now that I got my background ready, I'm going to go to my elements again. And this time I'm going to search for audio wave and then I'm going to go to graphic. And you're going to want to play with the filter once again. Again, if you're using the free account, make sure you tick on this free options right here. And then you're going to want to tick on the animated option because we want the one that, that are moving so make sure you choose that and then you're gonna go back to here and then choose your audio wave so i'm going to be using this one for today and i'm going to see whether i like it better if it's in full length or if i want it to be smaller yeah i don't really like it if it's too big so i think i'm just going to make it around this size and you can use it as a full length or as a full size like this or you can also spice things up a bit by double clicking on the audio wave and then you can crop this to half its size like so so it looks something like this you can choose whether you want to crop it half side down like this one or if you like it to be on the top you can always just flip it vertically and now you got this plate like so so i think i'm just going to choose it to look like this and now i will want to add a text so here you can just go to the text section on the left side of your screen and if you scroll down you'll be able to find a lot of text combination that you can use so you can choose whichever you want. I think I'm going to choose this tech glitch one just because I feel like it matches the vibes of my audio visualizer. And I haven't choose my music yet, so I'm just going to let this sit for now. And let's go to choosing the music. Now you can use your own music if you want. You can just go to this upload sections right here and then upload your audio and it's going to show on this audio sections right here. But if you just want to play around and try to see how this works, you can always try with the music that Canva has provided. So in order to do that, you can go to the app sections right here and you will find the audio option. After you scroll down, you'll find this audio sections right here and then you can choose from the available video that Canva has. So I'm just going to try and search for an audio that I like. All right, so I'm going to be choosing this wasn't even close song. I'm just going to drag it 
into my design so it looks like so and you can see that you can actually adjust your music if you want so i wanted to play directly into this part right here and in order to adjust it you can just double click on your audio block right here and then drag it to where you want it to be or you can just listen to the music and choose where you want the audio to start playing All right now that i got my audio adjusted i also going to adjust this box so that it's going to match my video and then i'm going to change this text so that it's going to say the title as well as the singer and it's a little bit too big for now so i'm going to reduce the size like so and then i'm also going to stretch the text box so that i don't have two lines of title because i want all to be in one line and then i'm just going to readjust it so it looks something like this all right so i make sure that i got all of the element in every frame and now this is how it will look like all right so that is the first way or the first method of how you can create your audio visualizer and i'm going to show you a second way in which you can do it and we're going to go back to our Canva home or we can just create a new design and of course in the form of video too. This time we're going to make things from scratch. So again, you can just go to the element section and the first thing I'm going to search is going to be a cassette and I am going to use a colorful cassette for this one because why not? So I'm going to use this mixtape one. And you can also choose a different color for your background if you want. Let's say this time I want to choose maybe a dark blue for my background like so. And then I'm just going to make it a tad bit smaller. And then we're going to search for gear. All right, so it's going to look something like this and then we're going to filter the gear so that it's going to be one with animated effect like so and i'm going to choose one of the working gear i think we're going to work with this one so i'm going to use this i'm just going to zoom in a little bit and then i'm going to adjust it so that it's going to fit into this part of my cassette all right and then i'm going to ctrl c on this one and click on ctrl v to paste it over here so i got a moving gear right here and now i'm going to add a sound wave or an audio wave so you can just once again search for an audio wave make sure that it is the one that is animated and I'm going to choose this one for now. And then I'm just going to put it below my cassette. I'm going to adjust it so it's going to have the same length. And just like before, I prefer it to have half size. So I can just cut it or I can just bring this layer to the back like so. Now I got the sound wave emerging from my cassette and then I'm just going to add one more to be put on top of it. It's a little bit too big. And then again, I'm just going to bring this to the back. So it looks something like this. And now you can add your text again if you want or you can just stop here and add your music. Again, if you would like to add music, you can just go to apps, find the audio options, and then choose your music from there. Or you can also add your own audio. 
And that's basically it. That is how you can create an audio visualizer on Canva. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.